Hi, I'm Jorge and we're going to see how to mesh a bumper in Patreon. Well, let's start. Let's wait a while for the software to start correctly. We need to be patient because it takes a while to download. Now, we, we go to File, New, and we enter the file name. In this case, we will be Bumper. We click OK. Now that we need a piece, we go out once again, File, Import. We look in SOLIDWORKS and we click on Bumper. Now let's see how it looks shaded. So we click on Mouse and we look at Smooth, smooth Shaded. Well, now we go to Meshing, Object, Mesh, Type, Solid. We enter the whole figure and in value we enter 1 and we click apply. Let's wait until the software mesh all the pieces. Now that we have all the pieces meshed, we go to displacement and we add pressure. And the pressure that will be received in the piece will be 96,000 PSI to be exact. Now we select the main part that is compromised in the crash. That will be the front. We add it and we apply it. As we can see, the four main points that will be compromised in the piece are marked in red. Now we are going to fix, so we go to displacement and we set name as fixed. We go to input data and translations. We need that the piece keeps static, so we enter 0 in X, 0 in G, and 0 in C. We click OK. We select the region. I have already seen the piece, so I will only write the regions that will be the solid 1.0. 128 and solid 1.158 and we add it ok apply now that all the main parts are fixed we go to properties isotropic the material name will choose steel in properties, we enter the elastic modulus and position radio of steel. And we apply it. Now that we apply it, we will go to solid, set the name as bumper. We go to input properties, prop name select steel and select the application region that will be the whole piece. Now we go to analysis, we click on entire model and we click apply. Now let's wait to the software to calculate our variables. Now we go to Nastran, we click on bumper and run our file. Now we wait for Rastran to finish an the analysis of the piece with the info we entered.
Now we go back to Patreon, click on XDB, select results, file, bumper, apply. We go to our results, then we look for a stress tensor. Stress tensor, one misses, and displacements transitional, and we click on animate. Then we click apply, and that's it. We got our analysis, and as you can see, that's the information the bumper receives after a crash. Thanks for watching.